Okay, so now we will do the review of the criticality workshop. So I will show you how to use the criticality tool and to analyze the main results. So this is our network. Okay, first thing, if we want, we can uh, change the the style of the network, uh, the drawing style to um, GIS. So if you if you do this, you know you notice that uh, um, your nodes. Uh, size and uh, valve size and tanks will will change okay so now let's uh, analyze this we have here uh, a first scenario with original valves um, this means that we have here our network where uh, we have already placed the isolation valves the isolation valves um, are represented by these elements okay here Okay, we have here our source of water, reservoir one, that is then supplying uh, gravitically uh, all this entire network. Okay, our goal is to understand uh, when we have an emergency like uh, um, a burst uh, where we have to close uh, the pipe in order to repair that burst. Uh, how much my, how, how my network will be affected? So basically, how many customers will be affected without water? Uh, how will be the downstream network length affected um, and uh, with this we can try to understand uh, where are the critical segments or critical pipes that we we should try to to look at analyze and see if uh, something like that happens in the future how we can try to minimize the the risk or the, the consequences of that, okay? So some solutions uh, sometimes is to try to better place isolation valves or valves. Uh, another solution, try to make some redundancy or looping in the network. Uh, other times, of, of course, we have to, to live with that and sometimes it's not cost effective to construct more, more network or expand our network uh, and we already have all the valves. So, this is what we are going to do now in this exercise. So uh, first thing, let's compute this uh, scenario. Okay, and now let's go to the criticality tool. Analysis, criticality. Okay, first thing we need is to right click on the criticality studies and create a new study. Okay, we have to select the scenario we want to make the the analysis so we want to choose we will choose the original valves is the first scenario that we have with all the valves already placed okay and then we j the scope we want to compute criticality for all the network and then we select compute yes okay so in the criticality tool we have three different uh, results one that we called critical pipe segments, another called outage segments, and another called criticality, okay? Let's analyze first the critical pipe segments. So what's this? Basically, in this, um, in this part, we will have the identification of all our segments in our network. What is a segment? The segment, um, as we saw before, are the smallest isolable parts of our network. Uh, so basically, this will depend on the, the valves that we have around of course and this segment uh, can be composed by several pipes one pipe or more pipes uh, and is surrounded by these by the valves okay so when we compute this we have here on the left in this uh, part all the segments that is composed that compose our network okay so if i want to see these segments uh, color coded in the map i just click here highlight segments okay And we can see that each uh, color here represents a segment, okay, a different segment, okay. So, for example, if I zoom to this pipe, uh, this uh, this represents a segment. Why? Because I have one valve here, and if I close this valve, of course, I will isolate this pipe. That's why this is a segment, okay. If we go here to the middle, for example, we have this um, segment with uh, light blue okay why this this is a segment so this segment is composed by by these pipes uh, 115 114 113 uh, this is a segment because if i have a burst here or here or here i just 
uh, I'm just able to isolate all this segment. I cannot isolate this pipe or this pipe or this pipe. I have to close all this pipe. Why? Because I only have valves here, okay? The isolation valve here. Another isolation valve here, okay? And another isolation valve here, okay? So this is the segment's results, okay? Why this is important? Because this, we have here a table, okay? Where we can, uh, for example, try to sort for the largest segments in our network, okay? So if I go to this column, segment length, sort, for example, descending, I can uh, look for my largest segments in my network, okay? So for example, segment 22 is the largest segment, we can try to find the segment easily in our uh, network by just looking, searching here, selecting here, and then click highlight segment. Okay, and now I can see my large segment. So basically, um, this is the largest segment that I'm able to isolate. If I have a problem, I will have to close all these. Uh, all these pipes will be closed. Okay, will be affected. Okay. Um, also, an important result here is to know exactly uh, the number of valves that I need to close in order to isolate those segments. Uh, I can see that um, here on the isolation nodes. Okay, so for example, let's sort this by descending. And uh, for example, segment one, two, I need to close a lot of valves uh, to isolate this this part. So let's go to segment one, for example. Okay, click on segment one, highlight segment is this one. Okay, so in this case, we have to close nine valves. So probably here, um, we, we, we would like to analyze if we can minimize the number of valves we have to close, uh, probably a better placement of the valves would avoid uh, this large number of valves that we need to close. Okay. So these are some of the results we have with the, these uh, segments here. Um, we can also know exactly what are the number of pipes that, is, that each segment has. Okay. Also the affected customer meters, if we had customer meters there, in this case we don't have any customer meter. And the fluid volume of each segment, so if I have to, fl to flush uh, this segment, how many water I will need to flush, okay? So now let's go um, to the outage segments analysis. So this is here. We just need to compute this, okay? Okay, and what do we have here? So the outage segment analysis allow us to understand if I have to close a specific segment, what is the impact downstream? Okay, so imagine I, I have to close this segment here. Um, how many uh, pipes will be affected downstream? Okay, so how many pipes will be without water if I close this specific segment? How many customers downstream will be without water or affected if I close this uh, segment here? Okay, so this is uh, this is very important. This is a, uh, these are very important results. Um, we have here the table. Okay, uh, something probably what we want to do here is to to sort the outage set uh, length. This this means the the downstream length affected. We can sort this descending. Okay, in order to see the higher impacts. So basically, this means that if we close segment uh, 46, 38,000 feet downstream of this segment will be affected without water. So let's look at um, segment 46. So we go here, we select segment 46, and also now we can outline in the, highlight in the map. Okay, and now I have an interesting uh, view. So basically the segment that is with purple color represents the segment that I need to close if I have a burst here, for example. And all the red pipes represent the pipes that will be affected, that will be without water. So in this case, if I close this, if I need to close this segment, all my network will be affected. So this means that all my customers will be without water during this uh, intervention. Why? Because I'm closing the segment downstream, the source of water. 
downstream drives of R1. Okay, so in this case, it's difficult to avoid this. Uh, let's return to the table and let's look for the seg second one. So if we close segment 41, in this case, 15,000 feet will be affected downstream. This is also a big impact. Let's look for segment 41 here, highlight in the map. And let's look at the results. So basically, this means that if I have a problem here, okay, and I need to close this particular segment, this purple, all this red network downstream will be affected. So this is a huge impact, right? Um, so a solution here uh, would try to understand if we can, for example, uh, place more isolation valves. For example, imagine um, I, I could place here an isolation valve here before this node J7. And if I had a problem here in this pipe, I would just need to close this pipe and water will move here this way to supply all these what all these areas so in this case um, if the burst was here and i had a valve here this network will not will not be affected but if i have a problem here um, even if i try to better locate valves i i i'm not able to avoid uh, interruption into this area okay so another solution uh, more effective would be, for example, to create more redundancy or more looping in this system. I could try to join or connect this node to this node, for example. So probably the cost of this would compensate um, the risk that I have or the consequences that I have when I have to close this pipe. Okay. So let's return to the table. So more results that we can have here besides the downstream length affected. We also have all the number of pipes affected downstream or elements, all elements, all pipes. Okay. Um, and here we have a detail. So basically let's imagine if I select segment 41, I can uh, know exactly um, which elements will be affected. This represent junctions, all the pipes that will be affected. Okay all the customer meters that will be affected, okay? Because I don't have customer meters here in my uh, network. Uh, these results do not appear, okay? Another important analysis, uh, and the last one, is the criticality. Okay, so let's compute this. The main result of this criticality is to know exactly what will be the system demand shortfall if I close specific segment. So imagine if I close um, segment one or segment two, uh, I will be, uh, I will have less demands downstream because it's it will be impossible to supply those customers. So the goal here is to try to understand exactly how the demand will fall. Okay, so basically we have here the table and we can sort, we have a, a a value um, a column here called system demand shortfall and we can sort this descending okay and try to understand what are the the most impact in terms of flow in terms of demands so this is a different result from the outer segments we where we have downstream network affected length uh, and number of pipes here we have uh, flow okay so once we we run these we usually want to run these also together with the hydraulic engine, okay? So let's mark this, run hydraulic engine, and let's compute again. Okay, and now let's sort this descending, okay? And now um, we have here the most critical uh, segments, okay? So let's look at segment 46. Segment 46, you can highlight in the map zoom to segment okay so segment 46 is this red one okay so basically this corresponds to the segment immediately downstream the source of water so of course if i close this all this i will be without water in all my network so the demand will will fall 100 percent let's go to the second one sort descending 
segment 41 okay we we'll, this was also a critical segment when we look at outage segment analysis let's zoom to the segment and this all this one okay so this was the, the same we obtain when we run the outage analysis okay so um, now we may want to try to to understand how to improve our network okay we saw that um, one of the critical uh, pipes one of the critical segments in our network is this one okay so by basically if we have a problem here where we have to isolate this part of the network all this uh, downstream network will be affected this represents uh, almost 50 percent of system demand shortfall represents a lot of customers and a lot of network pipes affected so uh, a second scenario uh, that we uh, computed in order to try to to find a solution is the scenario that we called improved system okay with this improved system scenario what we did was a connection between node j45 and j44 okay so in this case now if i have a problem here i can supply my network by uh, through this pipe so uh, this uh, in order to avoid the supply interruption to this part of the network okay so with this improved system now we can go to criticality again and run a criticality study for this new scenario okay and we can see the differences in the results now so let's create a new now let's select the scenario improved system where we have one more pipe and more isolation valves to, to isolate that pipe okay so now we have um, critical pipe segments with improved system scenario okay we want to run for the entire network okay let's run this okay let's run also the outage segments okay and let's run the criticality okay okay now if we go to the outage segments analysis with this new scenario let's sort the outage length descending and we can see now that segment uh, 41 that was critical before uh, is not here anymore and the second segment more critical just affects 3000 feet it's not as as so much as we had before okay of course this first one remains the same because this represents the wait, let's look for segment 46 is this one okay because this represents the segment downstream the source where we here it's, we cannot avoid this uh, this interruption okay so returning to the table so the second one now is different is not yet is not anymore uh, that segment that we saw before now it's segment 40 but the impact is much less right segment 40 okay now is this one okay so if we close this purple one we just affect this red so it's totally different uh, if we make this connection now uh, this network will not be affected anymore and it will not appear in the results of course the same for the criticality so if we search for system demand shortfall remember that we had an, an hundred percent for the first for the critical one and uh, almost 50 percent for the second one that was most, more, more critical now the second one more critical is um, uh, induces a system demand shortfall of 24 percent so we can uh, understand that by doing this uh, this solution making this building this pipe uh, we are improving a lot the redundancy and uh, decreasing the risk uh, in our network okay If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.